Okay, college algebra topic 2.2, solving rational inequalities, part two. Okay, this time we have a rational inequality, but it has been set to zero. There's a two on the other side. So our first job will be make sure this is all set to equal to zero. So we're gonna move the two from this side to the other side. So we'll have three x minus two all over x minus two greater than or equal to zero. Okay, this is good. Now that we have a greater than or equal to zero, we know that we're looking for positive solutions. Okay, now we need to combine these two into one rational. Um, so we're going to give the two a denominator of x as well. So we'll do that by going 3x minus 2 all over x minus 2 times x divided by x. This multiplying the numerator and denominator by x makes um, gives these the common gives these common denominators, and so now we can write it as one big rational of let's see a negative a three x and a negative two x makes x minus two all over x greater than or equal to zero. Now let's start the process again. The numerator will write here x minus two will follow the sign here. So this will be equals to zero, whereas the denominator will always be not equal to zero. Okay, so let's solve. This, when we solve, we'll get x equals two. And this one's already solved for x. So we need a number line. And we'll put zero and two on this number line. So zero will go here and two will go there. Now from here. The 0 is not equal to, so this will be an open circle, whereas the 2 is equal, this will be a closed circle. And now we need to test out the three areas. So we need a number that will test this area that is before 0. So we're going to try negative 10 for x. So let's put it here. If we have negative, uh, let's see here, and we can go back to the original. Oh, sorry, we'll go back to this part right here. So if x is negative 10, we have negative 10 take away 2, which is a negative, over a negative 10, which is negative as well. So negative divided by negative will be positive. So this area is positive, and that's good because we are looking for positive areas. Next, this area right here, um, a number between 0 and 2, let's try 1 as a test point. So x is 1. If x is 1, we get 1 take away 2. 1 take away 2 is negative. Um, and 1 itself is positive. So that'll be a negative answer divided by a positive answer, which makes that negative. And that area is not usable. Now we need a number after 2. So let's try 10. And say we have 10 here. 10 take away 2 is positive. And 10 itself, as a denominator, is positive. So that'd be positive divided by positive, which is positive. And so since we're looking for the positive areas or regions, it'll be this and this. So this will be negative infinity to zero, and that's open circle, so we'll use parentheses here. Union, this is closed, so we'll use a bracket two to positive infinity, and this is our solution. Okay, let's try one more spot like this. Number four, we have x plus four all over three x, and this is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so again, to start off, we make sure that this is all set uh, against 0. So I want to move the 1 to the other side. So we have x plus 4 all over 3x minus 1, less than or equal to 0. And from here, I can see that since this is less than or equal to 0, numbers that are less than or equal to 0 are negative numbers. So now we're looking for negative solutions. Okay, let's make this into one rational by giving um, the one a denominator of 3x. So that'll be x plus 4 all over 3x. And this will be minus 3x over 3x. Still equivalent to 1, but now it has the same denominator. Less than or equal to 0. So we can combine this to become one rational. The negative 3x together with the x gives us negative 2x plus 4. Everything's over 3x. That's the equal to 0. Okay, now let's remove the numerator. Minus
minus 2x plus 4 and follow our sign here the equal sign here so it'll equal 0 there let's remove our denominator which is 3x and denominators are always set not equal to 0 okay now let's go ahead and solve for x minus 4 on both sides here and I get negative 2x equals negative 4 divide both sides by negative 2 and I have x equals 2 with this one I want to divide both sides by 3 and I have x does not equal 0 0 divided by 3 is 0 so those are our two points here so let's put those on the number line 0 will go here and 2 there Okay, um, 0 is not equal, so we'll put an open circle for the 0. The 2 is the equal sign there, so we'll have a closed circle. All right, now let's check these three regions out. First, this one. A number before 0, let's try negative 10. And again, we're looking for negative parts here. So negative 10. Uh, let's see. Negative 2 times negative 10 is positive 20 plus 4. That'll be a positive answer. And 3 times a negative 10 is still negative, negative 30, so that'll be negative. So a positive divided by a negative will make this region negative. And that's good, because that's what we're looking for. Next, a number between 0 and 2. Let's try 1. If x is 1, we have negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2, plus 4, which is positive. A 3 times a 1 will be positive. So that will end up giving us a positive divided by a positive which is positive and we can't use this area because we're looking for negative regions now let's go beyond 2 let's say 10 x is 10 if x is 10 we have negative 2 times 10 which is negative 20 plus 4 which is uh, negative 16 that's still negative so let's make that negative a 3 times a 10 will give us 30 that's positive so negative divided by positive gives us negative so this area is negative, and that's what we're looking for. So our solutions will be here and here. So we'll write our, inter our um, interval notation as negative infinity to 0, with a parenthesis here, because that's open, union closed at the 2 to positive infinity. Oh, sorry, let me lift that up a little bit. So again, negative, uh, negative infinity to 0, open parenthesis, union with this part, closed at 2 to positive infinity.